Hi, Pisces. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's talk about it. So the first card that I pulled off camera for you guys was... Uh, Okay, so someone doesn't take breaks between relationships ending. So somebody may have a relationship ended. Someone went to the next relationship or the next person. Okay, so somebody is not taking time to heal. Somebody's just jumping to and fro. Um, if you're dealing with someone who's already coupled, that person that they're coupled to will do anything to keep them trapped in the relationship. Okay, they will not let this person go. Um, you could be a psychopath or someone you're dealing with. So they're extremely intelligent. They, you know, they function in society very well. Um, they'll get angry and indignant with you if you question their integrity. Um, they make commitments, but they really don't have any intention of fulfilling the commitment. They have these engaging personalities where you, you really want to get to know the person. You really want to, you know, befriend them. Um, they have no concern for commitment except to themselves. So they're committed to themselves, uh, but just no one else. Okay. So you could be, you know, you could exude psychopathic traits. It doesn't mean go check yourself into the nearest, you know, facility. It just means maybe there's some things you need to work on. Um, or someone around you exhibits those traits there. All right. So some of you need to do the work because work gets rewarded. Do the work. Some of you want to take easy street or you want to go, you know, you want to take, um, you know, a shortcut, but you have to actually do the work because it will get rewarded. Um, the reward will be big. OK, because you actually did the work. You put the time, the energy, the effort into sweat, blood and tears, sweat equity. All right. Let's see. Let's clarify. It doesn't take breaks between or doesn't take a break between relationships ending. Let's see the Knight of swords. So this is somebody who's on to the next. You know, they're fast acting. They like the whole world win type of love relationship. You know, they'll go from one to the next. It'll be all nice and, you know, sweet and going good. And then it, you know, may fizzle out just as quickly. Yeah, three of wands. This is someone that someone was already talking to. Someone left one position and they're going to another. Page of Pentacles could be a younger person, younger energy. Someone who has some maturity to do. Someone who needs to learn consistency. Someone who doesn't have consistency. The only consistency they have is moving from one relationship to the next could be you could be someone that you're dealing with okay all right let's see um the other woman will do anything to keep him trapped in a relationship and it could be vice versa the other man you know whatever all right so if you're dealing with someone who has someone they'll do anything to keep them stuck there okay or this is you let's see let's clarify all right let's yeah nine of swords so somebody could it could be a very toxic negative a vibration in the relationship but you know this person doesn't care they just don't want this person to leave if they feel like this person will leave they will start you know some type of trouble or they will do something or they'll do something dramatic this person cannot cope with the fact that this person wants someone else or that they would actually think of leaving them this is somebody who you know throws rocks hides their hands this is somebody here who you know spazzes out you know, fights, arguments. You had ten of wands to someone who who just cannot, you know, accept defeat, accept um, something being over. Therefore, um, they'll do anything to stay. This is also being a victim, overly dramatic. You know, um, so somebody will come with the theatrics, with the drama. You know, they will perform very well, honey. An Oscar award winning performance to keep this person stuck. You know, this could be that someone keeps a man stuck here. Yeah. You know, um, keep them thinking that they can't leave. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's like somebody wants to leave. They feel like they need to ghost the situation. Um, they just, you know, I don't know, like failure to act, failure to actually do to make that irrevocable change. It's like somebody just doesn't, they don't, they know that this person wants to leave. But they do so much to keep them stuck, you know, stagnant, you know, um, not seeing the truth of the matter that they need to go and heal, you know, withdraw from this connection. Psychopath. All right. So the psychopath could be keeping somebody stuck in a relationship. Psychopath could be you. You could you could have psychopathic tendencies, you know, um, 
psychopath or it could be someone else you know it doesn't have to be you all right let's see who is the psychopath here why is psychopath showing up the star card um so it could be an aquarius that you're dealing with if not an aquarius then this is someone that you look up to or you look up to be or you want to heal or you need to do some self-healing um you need to you know get your chakras in alignment this could be letting go baggage from you know previous relationships um this is also maybe someone who's beautiful you know they have a lot of people who look up to them um this is somebody who's just kind of checked out. They're really into themselves. They're really off to themselves. This is going to be someone who's like foreign, alien, you know, to emotions. They don't really feel them. They have, they feel emotions on them. Maybe like, you know, um, a, a huge level, like a world level. Like they have general emotions. They don't have like localized one-on-one -on -one emotions for other people, but they have a general like you know good bad type of you know feeling um temperance is just somebody who yeah they govern their emotions like like crazy like they're just very moderate about everything they're more so just off to themselves they care about self you know self 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 preservation this is how they maintain themselves this is the temperance card is directly related to the king of cups it could be you um pisces it could be you that is um you know more so just you, you know you have those psychopathic tendencies where you just don't allow yourself to feel so deeply you don't allow your heart to go there let's see what else do we have here people question your integrity uh but this might just be self-preservation conservation yeah ace of pentacles it's like self-actualization, self, 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 self. So it's like, you know, you can actually do for yourself. You know that you can actually care for yourself. You need to be, you you know that you need to be worried about self, 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 self. It's all about you, you know, um, how you look, how you act, what you have, what you can do. It's all about you. And that's all you're concerned with, you know, and it is what it is. You know, and um, it doesn't feel malicious. It just more so feels as if this is your personality. Uh, work gets rewarded. All right, do the work. Let's see. What work does Pisces need to do? The Wheel of Fortune. So maybe you need to sit in different. So there's something about maybe um, entrepreneurship, putting yourself out there, being around different groups of people. Who will further your agenda, further your business, further put you in different circles who, you know, of people who can actually help assist, um, give you good advice, give you connections, networking. It says the most successful people in the world have a lot of friends. Yeah, the work will get rewarded. You will be, you know, you will make long term achievements. You will have lots of money. You will have a different level of, um, you know, living luxury the ten of pentacles it's just about the action you know the motivation that you put behind uh whatever it is you're trying to start we get two entrepreneurial cards the queen of wands and the ace of wands whatever it is you do you need to do it consistently you need to do it on an everyday basis you need to put it all behind this this is life purpose this is what you should be doing this is lucky time this is um you know, promoting yourself to the world, presenting yourself to the world. You need to be comfortable with it. Do the work so that you can actually have the reward. And the reward is long-term goal achievement, reputation, expertise in your field, and of course, you know, money. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates for you. Let me know what part resonated for you. Wasn't that you need to do the work? You know, you need to put yourself out there. Is it that maybe you do have a bit of, you know, psychopathic tendencies? It doesn't mean that you're a full on psychopath. It just means that maybe you're more so concerned about yourself. Um, You could be single, no children also. Like no real attachments to the world outside of you. Maybe family. Um, Also, okay, so are you dealing with someone who won't let their person go? You know, are you dealing with someone who will do anything to keep this person trapped? Um, they'll make up lies. They'll, uh, they'll act out. Are you dealing with that? 
Are you the person who does not take breaks between relationships and dating? Are you finding yourself going to the next relationship? Are you finding yourself just engaging with anybody who will have you? Maybe you need to kind of drill down on that. This is what I have for you, Pisces. If you want to get your own personal reading, just like this one, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. Okay. You can also, um, I think, yeah, I said you can text your question to the number below. And um, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you. Have a really good week. Take care.